Hello, I want to show you today how to go and we're going to import a hierarchy of categories into the WooCommerce products and also be able to add images to that using WP All Import. So I'm going to go and do upload a file and I'm going to start with the products that I'm going to upload. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not actually going to do the upload here, but I'll show you the steps that I'm going to go through. Um, so it's going to start with the WooCommerce products. I'm going to go through these first couple of steps here. Okay, and what we are going to need to do for a product category with multiple levels is, I'm gonna go down here to category, taxonomies, um, product categories, and then click the products have hierarchical categories. So let me take a pause and explain here that we are importing the product categories along with the product as we can see here because we're doing a product import. We're not doing a taxonomy import. So because um, at least the way that I found it is this was the easiest way to import multi-level hierarchies. I'm, I'm not sure if it's even possible to do it with a taxonomy import because it doesn't have this um, multi-level hierarchy options that the product uh, import has so I'm clicking here products have hierarchical product categories and I'm going to say for my particular file it's a an element contains the hierarchy and that's for me that's going to be this um, categories uh, element and for me the hierarchy is separated by that squiggly line symbol i don't know what that i keep forgetting what that is called let me look at what that's called actually uh oh, forget about it okay anyway so i will go and add the symbol that separates the parent category from the child category and then go and I'm going to say um, separate hierarchy, hierarchy groups via symbol. So for me, if I have my file contains multiple hierarchy groups sometimes, like the the product can belong to a, a one set of parent and children and then another one as well, another set of parent and children. And that in mine, you can't see it here, but it's separated by the... Um, semicolon not in this uh, first document but in other places in the in the document it is so that's basically the main settings um, I don't have to go over the rest of these because you can um, figure that out as basic settings for product imports but I'm gonna go ahead and set those for taxonomies set the rest of the settings as well and then do that product import and then you'll be able to go and see that the the categories for your products will import with their with their multiple levels. So if you go into um, products categories, you should be able to see that the products start with a, the, the parent product has no dash in front of it, the, the, the child products have one dash, and then it's, if it's a grandchild, it's two dashes. But then, so um, I didn't import the images along with this because it doesn't give you an option to do that here. So to import the images, I go and the images for the product categories, I'm going to go and click new import again after I've done this import, not now guys, because I'm going to skip doing the import, but you have to do the import first. Then I'm going to click upload file and I'm going to have, um, I have a separate file where I have the taxonomy data that I was able to export separately. So if you this is like for the case where you have the taxonomy CSV 
that contains the taxonomy data and then you have the project or product data in, in another file but you, you can go and export uh, or get grab the uh, the what it's called categories file yeah category export and for the category export you can go and select taxonomies and you can select product categories and then you can keep going and you can select go to step three you'll be able to select a you want to add the name and the and the description and all that but then we, we're going to go down here to images and we're going to enter the image url here so i have the image url in one of these um cells here but actually i actually need to go back and and restart this because i need to do something uh, specify something that needs to be done so we're not let me go back to the first page we're not importing new categories here we're just updating existing ones so we're going to click existing items here not new items and that's going to give us the option at the end of step four or five to only update certain data in each category and not create new categories from these uh this csv because i found from when i tried to do it that creating a new categories from the csv uh overwrites the hierarchy that we imported in the product import with the categories so it's not a good idea to do that so I i'm going to go here i'm going to use the my website url like it's it looks like this for me um myurl.com and then if i go and look at the i'm going to go to the, the next item here um, or third item and grab the image path in mind the image path starts with a slash so i'm not going to have to include that slash um, it's going to be included itself there and then you can um, you can do the preview button there at the bottom and it'll show you um, that the actual image is working so like if we preview it should pull pull the image up right there like it does in mine so that can show you that it's working without you having to test the whole thing and then uh, fill in the rest of the data as well everything that you need or everything that you are going to want to update in a, in a category but don't worry about the the hierarchy for example like this parent, parent term I'm not going to worry about that because I'm not going to import any parent information here all I'm going to do is go to step four and this is where I'm going to I want to import my category based on name so I'm using like the, the whatever name I used in the previous step step for the name of the category um, sometimes it's hard to grab this thing I'm going to hold that drag it over here um, name and then I'm going to want to say um, I'm going to only you can you can identify the category with whatever you want but I, I felt the name was the easiest and I guess they did too because they made that the default but we can go down here and say when WPL import finds new data so I'm not I don't want to create new categories because I don't want to I don't know that this again this taxonomy import can do multi-level hierarchies more than one level so I'm just I'm not doing that I'm just doing update existing product cat categories and I'm going to this can stay checked skip if data has not changed and I'm going to choose which data to update first I'm going to unselect all and I'm just going to go and pick the ones that I want so I want to update I'm not going to update name because uh, I'm using that as an identifier it's not going to change um, all I want to update is maybe if I have a description I can update that because maybe that didn't come with the the product export um, I'm not going to update parent term but images is the main one I want to do here so update images that's going to update that image for each category we have and then if you have like term or other stuff you can do that as well but then 
basically these settings are going to allow you to just take the existing product categories you have and only update the images you know like I'll just turn description off just to make this more clear like th this way all you have all you're doing is updating the images you're not messing with the hierarchy at all so you'll be able to update like an existing product categories higher uh, hi um, product categories images and not affect the hierarchy at all so that way using these two steps using the taxonomy import and using the product import to, uh, to import the categories so using the product import to import the categories and the products and then using the taxonomy import to import the images for the categories that have been imported with the products you'll be able to set the images for your product categories and then you'll be able to go and I've already done this import I'm, again I'm not running it but you'll go ahead and run that one as well and then you'll see like the that images should start appearing here for the products that you are newly importing so that's how you um, that's how you import multi-level product categories in WooCommerce with WP all import and import the images as well for those and thanks for watching and hope this helped